If you're watching this day at premiere, can you spot the change? Let me know down in the comments what I changed. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. Ah, uh, I know I am. I'm all right. Uh, kids had a rough day. Didn't get much sleep. Blah blah blah. You know, so it was a rough day for me. You know, but uh, it's an even rougher day for Cheyenne. So I feel bad for her, but it's okay. Uh, hopefully they get some sleep tonight. They're all asleep already now. I even before I left, they came back home. Uh, they were passed out. So hopefully they sleep good tonight. We are going to a band that um, I've kind of intentionally avoided because I have a connection to them. <laughs> um, I actually know the drummer of this band. He probably, um, I don't know if he is still alive or not, but let's just say I was in a place with him for a little while. And uh, he's a very cool dude, shared a lot of stories. Uh, but we're listening to the band America and we're gonna be listening to two songs. This was uh, Robin S. She sent this in as a pick. Um, it is Riverside and A Horse With No Name. She also requested two other songs that we'll do in another separate video next week. And uh, yeah, I've heard this song before, like not heard it, but like I've heard of it, you know what I mean? Um, I know that people have mentioned it a lot and you guys have been bringing them up for a while. And I saw this come in, I was like, oh God, here we go. You know, cause I think I'd already made a post about, you know, I, I know the drummer of the band and uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a cool dude, but Let's go. If y'all aren't subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I really appreciate it. it. Takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And it really helps channel out. Alrighty. First up is Riverside and then a horse with no name by America. In three, two, one, go. Apparently, uh, horse was uh, not on the original album. It was a single, but then it got huge. And then they re-released the album with it on there. So there you go. This is track one. something so nostalgic about that album cover. I don't know why. Living on the riverside Taking it all in my stride Living on the riverside I'm taking life Like a big long ride You stay on your side And I'll stay on mine And I'm not going to share the guy's name because I know they've had a couple different drummers. I don't want to put it out there like that. Oh, that harmony. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful harmony. It's very CSN-y, but um, without like the stills guitar. What a good feeling song. That almost reminded me of a CSN song, to be honest. At the end there, at least. A horse with no name. 
was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There were sand and hills and rain. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds. The heat was hot. That hand percussion is so good. really good. <laughs> well, I see why this was such a big hit. Okay. See, there's that stills guitar for a second. Yeah, sorry, I was just reading up on the the personnel list. Huh. See, it's so funny that I wasn't there with that guy, and I never um, listened to them, you know? And I was in there with them for like a month, I guess you could say. And uh, <laughs> he told some crazy stories. Um, and he actually, you know, it's so funny. See, I, I remembered this as I was listening to it, because it's like, this was like, seven years ago eight years ago i'm guessing yeah when i early, early 20s um he offered he said he said once i get out of here we're going on tour you want to go with me and like he he actually almost set it up and everything after we got out but i ended up not going because i don't think i stayed clean that long um apparently uh, this person would go in and out i don't know if he was with um obviously america but he was still playing um i think he was somebody who was uh 
I don't know. I don't want to say it any more than that. I'll probably give it away at that point. Um, but yeah, that, that was great. I really, it's, it's funny how Riverside and a horse that their name have kind of a different feel and tone to both of them, but they're still very similar. Um, and I can only use the comparisons that I know. So if I say they sound like CSNY or CSN, whatever, you know, like that's just because they're kind of the only band I really have a, a basis for, for like the folk stuff. That's this kind of sound, you know, um, you know, I've done other folk, you know, like Dylan and everything, but that's a whole different kind of genre than this. I feel like, uh, it's mostly based on those harmonies and those harmonies are to die for here. Just like in uh, CSN, um, they have something special with that. They really do. And I feel like the only difference between this and CSN is like the stills and like maybe when Young's there, you know, like the, uh, the guitar, um, this is more just acoustics and like it has its, you know, moments where the guitars kind of shine there in the second song, especially. I guess the middle section of A Horse With No Name, it has a little bit, but it's mostly just like acoustic guitars and that hand percussion, which is definitely different than what they do over in CSN. So it's definitely, they have their differences. I think the only really, the real similarity is the genre and the harmony, you know? Um, but I really feel like they have something special here. And uh, I'm glad that I finally listened to them because <laughs> I kind of been holding off because y'all been requesting them for a while, but this is the first time I got an actual request to do them too. So I, um, I thought, you know, like I said, I, I have a history with the one guy, um, but he, I don't know the history of the band at all either. So I don't know when he was in it or what, you know, I don't even really want to get into it. So I don't give away his identity, but at the same time, uh, I'm glad that I finally listened to them because that was really, really good. I really liked that second song especially, but I liked Riverside too. It kind of gave me this, nostalgic feeling and i like, while looking at the album cover and listening to that song i got the strangest feeling like looking at like having those indians uh, i say indians let's say native americans sorry whatever you whatever you're supposed to call them nowadays you know um uh, the having like the native americans behind them uh and then having them just kind of lounging on the floor it's a very interesting dichotomy you know of an album cover and then the song and then the name just america above it you know because it's almost like the ghosts of the Native Americans um, are what America is. And then it has, you know, um, the band America underneath of it. So I think that's very interesting. It's got a very, you know, it's got layers to it just in the album cover alone. And I didn't even get into the lyrics or anything like that. You know, here I have to listen to it multiple times to get the lyrics down because I wasn't focused on the lyrics here. I was more focused just on the instrumental and the harmony they were going for. And it's kind of hard to listen to the lyrics and understand them while still trying to listen to the harmony for me at least it's it's hard so i kind of have to listen to songs multiple times to digest them fully but i really enjoyed that that was great um thank you again i think it was uh cat who was let me make sure i get this right where are you at robin s not kathy so thank you uh robin s for a great pick and then i will do the other two songs next week thank you for watching guys i think next week it's gonna be what what is it it's um Three Roses, that's one track, and then there's another one, but it's not from this album. So I guess we will see you next week, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one, and uh, be safe, be kind, and today you can rewind. You have my permission. If you all know, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. If you join any of the tiers, you get access to all of our block videos, Patreon exclusives, and our Discord server, so you can come vote for our... Um, spotlight artist of the month and then vote for the uh you know accompanying 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 videos that go with said spotlight artist um they're doing that right now as we speak in discord so just join patreon and then if you look it should be right there like a discord invite like in the threads right there and uh you can come join hang out come chat music with us you can talk to me if you want to and then vote on stuff like that we'd love to have you there's also a uh, PayPal link as well in the description for tips, requests, and anything else. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see y'all later. Have a good one.